Hey my awesome people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Finally, the WooCommerce videos are going to start dropping on the channel and I am going to show you every step on how you can create WooCommerce pages using Elementor. And I mean in this video series, we're only going to be using Elementor and Elementor Pro. And then I show you exactly how you can create different pages, the single product page, the product archive, my account, the checkout page, the cart page, the purchase summary page, and a lot more other settings, including the payment gateways and all that stuff for your website using WooCommerce and Elementor. And I'm pretty excited about these videos because when I release the poll on what kind of videos you guys would want to watch from the channel, you guys actually voted for WooCommerce and Elementor videos. And I'm pretty happy that these videos are going to start dropping on the channel. So let me take you through on what we will be building in the coming videos. So in this case, we have a single product page and uh, this is how it looks like. Breadcrumbs, we have the product title, we, we have the product meta, we have the prices. Uh, this is the regular price and this is here the sales price. We have the availability, how many products are in stock. Someone is able to add this product to the cart. For example, if I add to the cart over here, then you get the option to view the cart over here or someone can simply click over here in the menu cart button and you will see that now we have another product over in here in our cart. We have the short description of the product and we have a product gallery down below here. It's actually a slider. Someone can click and browse through other images and as well, they can open these images in a light box. And then we have the full product description, just like you see over here. In case there are any other reviews that have been submitted by your previous clients, they are able to see or read that over right here. Then we have the related products which show up down below here. So in a nutshell, I'll be showing you how to create this kind of page using Elementor and WooCommerce. The other page that we are going to look into is going to be the product archive page, which is like the shop page that lists all the products. And we'll have a hero that kind of describes what is happening on this page. On the shop archive, we are going to have a filter and I created this filter using Elementor. And let me show you how this filter actually works. For example, if I want to view backpacks, I just click on the backpacks. And here it will only show me backpacks on this website. And I have to tell you that I only use Elementor and Elementor Pro to build this filter, no any other third party plugin. Another advanced way you can use this filter. In this case, if I open up Sados, and now we have Sados showing up over here, we have four results, but I want to sort these Sados based on the price, the highest to the lowest. So I'm going to sort that. Now we have the Sado from the highest price to the lowest price over here. So I'll be showing you how to build this kind of filter on your product archive page. Now, besides that, let me go back to all products. And when we scroll down below here, you realize we have a pagination. So in case you have more products or in case you've limited how many products are supposed to appear on a certain page, they'll be moved to the second page and I'll show you how to style up and how to enable paginations for your product archive page. Now this is the other page and you see the products that we are having over here, including those products that are on a sale. All right, now let's go and look into the cart page. Here is our cart page. If I reload this, remember we added another product. It should update here automatically. Uh, so now the page has updated. We have three products in our cart. We can increase the number of products in the cart and then we can update to display the changes. If you have a coupon that has been provided, you can add it over here and then apply to get a discount. But also I'll be showing you how to customize your WooCommerce notifications, notices, errors, and infos. I'll be releasing a video on that in the coming videos and I'm pretty sure you'll be excited to check it out. When we talk about the cart page, we cannot leave out the menu cart button or the menu cart widget that was also recently added in Elementor, which is this over here. So when I click on the menu cart widget, it floats in and of course you can decide on how you want it to appear. But in this case, it floats in from the right hand side and still lists all the products that are in my cart. I can choose to view the cart. Of course, currently I'm on the cart page, so I don't need to do that. I'll now decide to go to the checkout page. So when I go to the checkout page, automatically it takes me to the checkout page which looks a little bit more familiar to the cart page but different looks familiar because it has 
our hero banner or our hero section with more familiar features like the cut page and the product archive. But now we have the section where your client will be able to add in their billing details and also their order summary and also be able to place an order. Besides that, I'll also show you how to integrate with different other payment gateways. And I have to mention that depending on where you are based, there are different payment gateways that apply to you. For example, people who are in the West, they have payment gateways that are supported there like Stripe and PayPal which may necessarily not apply to merchants who are selling from Africa. So I look forward to release those two videos on payment gateways and integrations on the channel. So once your client has checked out on your website, they will be redirected to like a thank you page. In this case, I'll call it the purchase summary page where everything regarding your client order details will be listed in all the payment method that they use and all the order details right over here and the beauty about this page is that it will have some dynamic features putting aside the others that are already provided by woocommerce we will also have a gravatar image or the image that is attached to your client's email address that they are using on your store and also we have like a custom welcome message like this is hi Hamza. For your case it may be hi John, hi Proscovia. That is all based on the data that you entered as you're signing up for an account or you're purchasing a product on the store. I think that is actually pretty interesting because people would actually feel nice that their image and name is actually showing up inside their purchase summary page or their account page. All right, now let's go and look into the account page. This is a page which will also be custom and I'll show you how to add this gravatar and also this dynamic message over here and as well as how to create a custom dashboard for your account page, which will include an option to go straight to the billing addresses or edit or add some or make some changes. Also the option to go to your account section where you can make some changes and updates and also new products in stock. Then for example, if someone clicks over here on my account, they'll be taken straight to the account section details on the my account page inside your account and you're able to effect some changes over here. And for example, if they go to my orders, they'll be able to see all the available orders that they placed on this store and they are able to actually go view the specific order details and all that stuff. That's pretty interesting and I'm very excited. I'll be taking you through every step on how to create this kind of custom my account page using Elementor and Elementor Pro. So in a nutshell, that's it all for now. I'll be sharing in the coming videos and I'll be creating a specific playlist for that on the channel. So you'll be able to go and just click on that playlist and see all the videos. And for those of you who want to follow step by step tutorials in form of articles, I'll be publishing an article for every video that I'll be dropping. So for instance, if you want to see a step by step article that shows you how to create your single product page using WooCommerce and Elementor and Elementor Pro. There will be an article for that so you can always go on my website and actually follow step by step that article. I'll be linking the relevant article to that video in the description of the video. So pretty excited to receive your feedback regarding these videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you later.